Hi everyone, welcome to another webisode of The Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com. Today's topic of conversation is about protein supplements or as commonly referred to as protein shakes. To discuss this topic, I have with me Maya Kabasi on the show. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So Maya, first question is, what is in these protein shakes or protein supplements and why should people have them? Uh, protein shakes are interesting because they're high in amino acids, which is the high quality of uh, protein. People should have them because they provide this type of amino acids that the body needs to function well. And the amino acid does what for our body? Proteins are good for the bones, are good for the muscles, uh, they give us energy. Uh, we need them every day. It's, it should be part of our daily uh, diet. All right. So. We've taken the amino acids, we've turned their form into powder. Mm -hmm. What is in these mm -hmm. cans of drinks or these containers? Uh, first of all, there's different forms of protein shakes. There's the casein protein, there's soy protein, and there's whey protein. Now, the c most commonly used one is the whey protein because it's soluble in water and it has the complete nine amino acids that we need. Mm -hmm. uh, soy protein shake is good for vegan because uh, it's soy so uh, it's a good option for them uh, it has an unpleasant taste uh, so not everybody likes this uh, type of powder but uh, it's also less soluble right. so the bo the whey protein remains the a better choice uh, between the three uh, forms these three forms of uh, protein powders and on this note we've sent out Paul De Bruin to Life Pharmacy to investigate a little bit about protein shakes and here's what he had to say. As you can see when it comes to choosing a protein powder there is a lot of choice just look behind me but when you are choosing something keep in mind four things. First is make sure there's no artificial sweetness or flavors. Second make sure that the actual ingredients the nutrients inside the protein powder is top quality because a great protein powder you can actually use as a meal replacement or in addition to your regular intake. Third is the convenience. We're all busy choose something that is ready made that is easy to consume and fourth is make sure that it tastes great after all you're eating it you're consuming it you want something that is enjoyable so keep in mind these four things when choosing a protein powder and of course consider your lifestyle and my final question Maya is who is the right candidate to have or use protein supplements and protein shakes uh, different people can benefit from the protein uh, shake, like teenager athlete who have higher needs in protein, a vegan athlete who has um, doesn't have access to all the protein sources because he's eliminating fish, chicken, and meat from his diet, an athlete who had an injury and who needs more protein to heal faster, uh, someone who is training two to three hours a day and he needs to train for uh, half a marathon and he has higher needs for protein. Uh, uh, as well. That's great information, Maya. Thanks very much. I certainly learned a lot. If you've got any thoughts, comments, or questions about this subject matter, please leave them in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching The Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com, where you can find anything and everything lifestyle.